what is going on you guys ricky back with express eraser and today i got a another video for you guys where i'll actually be talking about just how i get the audio on the pov videos basically i'm going to show you how to go from this to this Sorry guys, stay tuned, let's pull this bike out, go for a quick ride, and talk about it some more. guys so I'm gonna pull into this parking lot right here so we could better talk about all the tips I can give you on getting better audio for your YouTube video so let's pull in here real quick all right guys so if you guys didn't already know this is a Continental GT 650 a, uh, it's a 2019 and I got about 14,000 miles on it and today what I wanted to talk to you guys about was how to get the best audio for especially for the POV videos that I make so a lot of you guys have been requesting this and I've promised you guys this video for a very long time so without further ado let's talk about it so as you guys know you could record audio straight from your gopro which i have the gopro hero 9 along with the media mod that's actually attached to it but it still gets way too much wind noise compared to um, using a separate mic or an external mic i believe it's called so um, one of the best things you could do to capture um, your exhaust note as well as the engine note is to go ahead and get you something like this that I got right here so it actually is recording right now uh, but what this is it is a zoom h1n h1n uh, recorder so I think it costs like 100 bucks but the reason why you want a separate recorder um, especially something like this something that isn't the GoPro is when you're riding, you have all this wind coming at you, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fast speed. So your your voice or the engine sounds are gonna get muffled by um, that wind noise. So as you guys saw from that clip that I showed you in the beginning, there's more wind noise than there is actually the engine noise or the exhaust note. So having this is crucial when it comes to actually getting that clear, crisp audio that you guys want in you know the video so obviously this doesn't work for the helmet setup that i have which i'll talk about in a different video but as of now as far as how i get the pov sounding as good as possible i make sure to use a zoom h1n recorder now there are um, other recorders that i do want to try out but as of now this is the mic i've been using since i started and the mic that i personally love and so uh, something else to consider with the recorder you want to make sure it's tucked in somewhere that doesn't get all the wind noise because it defeats the purpose of not just using the gopro on your uh, or the mic on your gopro so what i do is i actually have this um i guess clamp right over here hope you guys can see that that i clamp right over here to the back of it uh to the back of the motorcycle and 
this way I could go ahead and adjust the mic accordingly to get the least amount of wind so you can see right now the wind is actually blowing and it's still hitting it but when I'm riding this this is a lot better than if it was just sitting out here like that because all you would pick up is that wind noise so you want to place it somewhere where you're getting the least amount of wind now it's different with all sorts of motorcycles as far as where you're going to place it i've had people actually put it in their rear seat cowl if you had one or your backpack which i do sometimes but in my opinion um depending on how loud the exhaust is it's best to have it here and to just use the settings that um, work best for you guys. So as soon as you use your external mic, whatever it is, uh, I would recommend the H1N. Go ahead and clamp it on to the back of the bike somehow where you're not getting too much wind noise. And at the same time, you're also pretty close to the exhaust. So this is where I personally put my microphone and You've seen it in other videos where I might put it on the back here or wherever have you depending on the motorcycle I'm riding but ideally get it away from the wind and get it pretty close to the exhaust as you can without burning the mic or ruining the mic whatever have you so once you go ahead and actually capture the recording uh, after that you want to go ahead and put it into post and you want to basically sync up both the audio that comes from that comes from the H1N mic as well as the GoPro footage and so the way you do that is when I start any ride you guys who have ridden with me probably have seen this but I'll start both the recorder or the GoPro and I'll start the um, the H1N so obviously unless you have perfect timing you could set it up perfectly but obviously there's a second delay between whenever you start both both things so what I do and shout out to Yami New for this um, all you got to do is as soon as you press start on your recorder as well as your GoPro all you got to do is do three claps just like that so what that does is when you go into post when you actually go and edit the video clip of both the recorder and the GoPro what you're gonna do is you're gonna see three spikes depending on whatever uh, software you use I personally use Premiere Pro, but when you import both those files into Premiere Pro, you're gonna see a spike where you clap, where you, where you did those three claps. And then you cut from the first clap on each file, and then you just sync it up that way. And I'll have another video where I talk about that, but overall this video for Throttle Thursday, I just wanted to talk about just how I get the audio recorded uh, what I use and where I place it and yeah, I, you guys have asked this for a while, but I'll do a more comprehensive breakdown on um, the Premiere Pro software setup or the editing that I do as well as the helmet setup that I do when I actually um, film these vlogs, but if you guys enjoy the video Please make sure to like share subscribe all those things really helps out the channel and thank you guys again for tuning in to this Throttle Thursday video. So, ride safe guys.